Hi, and welcome to the KKW Trucking Podcast. It's Dustin, joined by Eddie. Yes, yes, we're back. Finally. Well, welcome back, Dustin. Yeah, I know. It's been a little while since we've uh, we've recorded a new podcast episode. And, Eddie, there's a lot of reasons for that. We've yes, all been very yes. busy uh, with the anniversary banquet last month. Um, we've had some changes at the office and a whole bunch of different things. You've been wearing a couple different hats. Yeah, I think I wear about three of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. But I love it. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I enjoy wearing all these hats, even though they all don't fit all the time. Yeah. <laughs> but I enjoy it. So it's it's glad to be back. Or I'm glad to be back on the air. It's good. I'm glad as um, well. I know the last <laughs> e- uh, podcast episode, it was just me. It wasn't you. So finally, Eddie is back. I'm and, back. Uh, it should be a good episode, so I'm pretty stoked. Yeah, we got some great topics to go over. Most of all, I, I would start off by saying, talking about the stars of the company, Mr. Jim Craft. Oh, yeah. You know, let's give a huge shout out to uh, Jim Craft. Yes. 35 years at KKW, I believe, is the second longest tenured employee. It's two or three. That is amazing. So, I know Mr. Firestone is number one. Yeah, he's number one. <laughs> and I think it's either Lynette or Jim. Yeah, uh, I'm not yeah. sure exactly who was first. I think Jim was first. I think at the anniversary banquet, Lynette said in, when they brought him up that he was here when she came on board. That is amazing. 35 years. Um, hats off to you, Mr. Kraft. Um, that's amazing. 35 years with the company. I know you've seen a lot and you've done a lot and uh, you're really an asset to the company. I don't see how you could ever be replaced. And I just it's, it's uh, great to work with you and have you on our team. And uh, Eddie, the, all the names have gone out, you know, on social media, in email. Of course, we had our anniversary banquet where everybody's name was called and they came up and got their certificate and all that. But still want to take a second, and I'm not going to say all the names, but just want to give a huge shout out to all our anniversary stars. You know, we had people for 20 years, 15, 10, and 5. Yes. Um, quite a list of yes. people celebrating yes. anniversaries. So, you know, I've only been here a little over two years, and uh, which it's crazy how fast <laughs> yes but uh really. you know it's all you guys uh congratulations and that's fantastic well thank you dustin because i fall i know we don't want to name names but i fall under five years mr eddie um so made i made it, it to five years at the company um this is the favorite my favorite company that I, i've ever worked for it doesn't feel like work being here it's just like being with my family members when i'm here at kkw this is really a family um oriented business and i love it i really love it thank you mr firestone thank you miss lynette and thank you mr um benny hoff and most of all i gotta thank mr tom howard because i wouldn't be here without him thank you tom all right well congrats eddie and of course congrats to all our anniversary stars the, the anniversary banquet was great and we're going to talk about that a little bit later yes. so we'll get into that next up on our shout outs is uh antonio smith commented on our doubles video on youtube featuring mike trip and he said you explain that ma- maneuver to perfection When your trucking career is over, you would make an awesome teacher, new subscriber. So, first of all, Antonio Smith, thank you for tuning in. We appreciate the feedback. Yes. And I'll go back. I'll be sure to comment on this and let him know that we uh, give him a shout out on the podcast. Okay, great. Antonio, I'm uh, the recruiting manager here. My name's Eddie Ingram. Uh, We would love to have you a part of our team as well. So, please, hopefully uh, one day in the future you start a career with KKW. And, yes, we have careers here, not jobs. Hey, ABC, and he always be closing. <laughs> He's on it. He's on it. So, Mike, uh, that video has gotten a great organic response on YouTube. Uh, lots of comments. People really enjoyed the video. Another one that just came up was from Cruiser007, also said, Thanks for your video. Tomorrow I'm going to the DMV to get my doubles endorsement. Thanks again, and God bless you. So, Thank you for that comment and the feedback. And yes. Of course, uh, just glad and, everybody's enjoying the video. Glad that we can provide some value. Cruiser 007, um, send us another comment. Let us know if you passed or not. Um, hopefully you did. I know you did. We're going to speak it into existence. I know you yeah. passed. Uh, just send us another comment. Stay in touch with us. Awesome. Um, we would also like to welcome Matt to the team as our new orientation instructor. Ooh, 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 ooh. So. You know, admin drivers, everybody should be seeing him around the office. Mm -hmm. Matt's uh, been with the team, too. He's not new to the company. Still a driver, He's just He's still a driver. He's actually out driving the truck right now. Uh, He's our new orientation facilitator. And uh, Matt is a professional, perfectionist, and I think he's going to do great. And I also want to take a moment in the shout-outs and just acknowledge that Oscar won't be on the podcast anymore. Uh, 
it was a, it was a fun run, and yes. we had a great time. So, yes, uh, it was. You know, best of luck to you, Oscar. Yes, sir. Hope everything's going well with you, and uh, you're doing good in your schooling, and hopefully we get you back here in the future. Well, now that uh, you're back on the show, Eddie, I wanted to take a second to catch up with you, see how things are going in recruiting. It's going. <laughs> it's still going. It's, it's going. It's always ongoing. Um, if my drivers out there on the road would help me out, we can help each other. Um, I had got the team to boost the referral bonus to $1,000 um, in hopes that we would increase the leads that's coming in from our drivers because yeah. when we hire a driver from a referral that spoke to one of our drivers, because everyone knows um, our recruiters are really good, but when you're speaking to a recruiter and you're a driver, uh, you take everything they say with a grain of salt. So it's easier and it's better for our drivers that really love it here at KKW. They always come to my office and they're like, I love this company. There's nothing like this company. Recruit. Get those drivers out there. It was at $1,000. I did have to take it back to back down to $500. Hopefully in the future we'll go back to 1000 but it is $500 per referral right now. Um, so you guys get the referrals up and let's get it back to a thousand dollars right now. It is five hundred dollars. You get yeah. And our, historically, five hundred has always been yes, yes. The, that's the number, the normal number, and a thousand was like you know a huge deal. For I us doubled it. When we have more drivers, we're able to close more deals. We're able to get more contracts. We're able to spread our wings. Yeah, we can grow. Um, we can continue to grow. We have we've been growing really, really good. Refer drivers over. Send them over to me. Give them my cell phone number. If you don't have my cell phone number, it's 909-643-3291. Anybody that's considering a trucking job with KKW or you have three months of experience and you're looking for a home, please go online, look at our reviews, go on YouTube and check out some of our YouTube videos and come start a career with KKW. So one one thing I did want to hear from you is to any drivers, you know, that are currently here at KKW, what what tools, what do we have, uh, you know, for them to use while they're out on the road um, for we, referrals? You know, okay. are we giving them cards? Can we have cards. Like, we, what can they do? We have cards. Um, I made up some shirts. Uh, I need to make some more. But right now we have cards and we also have some trifolds that, you know, breaks down some of the amenities that the facility have, some of the things that we offer to our drivers. Um, so if you don't have any referral cards, please stop by and see your recruiter or myself. Pick up some refer ca- referral cards and some trifolds. Yeah, the trifolds are really nice because you want you really want when you talk to someone out there, you want to leave them with something. Right. So that they remember, you know, when the time comes and somebody's like, yeah, you know, I want to take a look at this company. You don't want them to be like, God, what, what company was it? Right, I don't remember. Right, you want right. them to be like, oh yeah, where's that car? Right. Boom. And uh, the drivers that are really successful at referring drivers over, um, what they do is they're, they'll they take the driver's number oh, okay. um, and call me with the number and say, hey, this driver is interested in coming on board. Here's his number. Because if you just give them a car, nine times out of 10, you may lose them. I wouldn't say that high. Probably seven times out of 10, you'll lose the driver. So you want to take their information and communicate with them because a lot of drivers feel like you're only referring the driver, referring them to the company so you can get paid. Um, That should never be your motive. That's kind of incentive, a bonus on top of referring drivers over. You should just want to help us build the team so we can take over the world. Yeah, and like you mentioned, um, you know, just just being a little bit more proactive. If you take the number, you know, we can kind of reach out, make that connection right, versus, right. you know, just waiting. Mm-hmm. And something else I, I would like to tell the drivers, because this goes a long way. Um, I was speaking to Mr. Benihoff, and our turnover is uh, right around 34%. Wow. Which is amazing. Oh, that, compared to the industry? Yes. So uh, anybody out there, please go Google what is the average uh, turnover at most of these companies, in average, I believe it's around like 114. Yeah, I want I mean, to say the ATA put out a report. Um, so it's national, not just the 11 Western that we run, but trucking companies in general. I think, yeah, the uh, the uh, big mega carriers were over 100, I forget at what rate. And the smaller companies were generally like 80s, high 80s. Right, And everybody right. else kind of fell in between those. And we were at 30. And you can also, uh, anybody out there, if you see one of our drivers doing something good, you can also call in and let us know that they're doing something good. And on the flip side of that, if you see our drivers out there doing something bad, you can call us as well, notify the safety department, 
and we will speak to the driver regarding that. And to the drivers, if we call you, don't assume that we're um, taking the other person's side. If safety calls you to ask you questions about anything that happened on the road, um, only thing they're doing is just trying to get your side of the story so we can file it. That's it. That's all. So no need to get upset if safety reach out to you and ask you about an incident that may have been calling in by a four-wheeler civilian sure. out on the road. All right, Eddie, now it is time for Quick Hits. Quick Hits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bring it back. Uh, I wanted to make sure we let everybody know that employee harassment training is still ongoing and mandatory. So make sure if you haven't already completed the training, you speak to Alicia, Stephanie, or Melissa in HR, or contact your driver and manager and let them know that you need to take the class. Now, those classes are every... Uh, Tuesday, Tuesday and Thursday, I believe. Tuesday, it's at- Tuesdays are at eight o'clock, and Thursdays it starts at nine. It's about an hour class. It is a paid class, so please come in and take the class and get it out the way. Anybody out there that's continuing to receive emails regarding this class, if you already took the class, disregard those emails. We're just sending them out so we can get everybody in and get everybody trained. Yeah, and if you could, uh, if you want to help us out and, and be a little bit proactive, um, we're trying to get the classes as groups not you know individuals so hopefully um if you know you reach out to one of us we can uh, book a bigger class and that way it's a little bit more successful um next up on quick hits uh the 2020 photo calendar contest is still ongoing as well and you can submit photos to me on facebook or via email um, and all that information is located on the pin post on our Facebook page and then an email has already gone out to all the drivers So just check your inbox um, And it has my email in there. Uh, we already have a bunch of great submissions Eddie When is the really quick? Uh, what date is the cutoff? So the last day that drivers can submit photos is October 4th 2019 um, so- Explain it a little bit to our drivers that's new on board about this uh, photo contest. Sure. So the uh The rules for the photo contest are simply that we want drivers to take photos of their trucks out on the road and we feature the top 13 photos as uh, usually decided by, uh, it's a committee and then Dennis. They they pick the top 13 and they make it into the calendar for the next year. So it'll be the 2020 calendar. Now the rules are simply take a photo and your truck has to be in it. Now we're not looking for photos featuring the drivers. We want to see the trucks out on the road and like I said, we've already had a ton of submissions. We have more than enough um, to get to the calendar, but we want to see the best photos. Yes, yes. So keep them coming. Uh, there's really some great stuff already, and I know we have some drivers that are either new or just haven't gotten around to taking a photo yet that it's going to be amazing. Right, so, right. And if, if anyone out there hasn't seen, so you can get an idea of how, these, uh, how the drivers are taking photos, the drivers who win, um, you can stop by the office. You can see Dustin. We have calendars here that you can look at from last year. Should well, I still have some if you want a calendar for the this rest year, of this year? Yes, yeah. yes. This year calendars. Come and check them out. Um, so what do you win? So there actually is a prize, I believe. For first prize, it's 300. Second prize is 200. And third place is 100. And then the first place actually gets featured on the cover of the calendar. Nice. Which is really cool uh, because when you think, obviously, when you have a calendar up, it's open. But... When you're handing them out, when everybody's getting them in the mail, uh, yeah. you're the featured photo. Nice, which nice. is pretty neat. Because if if uh, you know you get that that privilege, um, everybody's gonna see your picture. Yeah, I've seen a couple of the photos, and I can see you know drivers that's getting in nice locations. They can be at a delivery okay. that has a nice backdrop, and they'll just snap the picture. And some of these pictures look like they were taken by paid professionals. Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, we've always you know given a shout out to Lane. He takes amazing. Yes. I love getting my. You know, his photos in my inbox. I'm always, you know, if, if he sends some, I'm always like, oh, cool, I'm going to look. Right. So, very cool. And like I said, you, you can also shoot me photos on social media, on Facebook or Instagram. If you just want to direct message me, I'll go ahead and save them and attach your name. So, Perfect. And what's your email? It's D-G-A-R-B-A-C-I-A-K at kkwtrucks.com. All right. D Garbaziak, yep. right? That's okay. how you say my last name, yeah. Got it. Also, uh, for a monthly safety topic, uh, our safety manager, Sarah Sherman, sent this out. It's about defensive driver. Observe the entire situation 
Watch for changes, recognize potential hazards, decide on the appropriate response, and carry out the plan. So be sure to continually scan the area, looking 12 to 15 seconds ahead, and watch for anything that could affect your path, your patch of travel. Use your mirrors and side windows to scan to the sides, and use your mirrors to monitor the back of your vehicle for potential hazards and tire problems. So Eddie, as a driver, um, if you want to take a second and uh, just kind of is there anything else that needs to um, be Yeah, you just, when, while you're out there on the road, um, you just want to constantly scan your mirrors. You should be like, I always use the word bobble doll because the bobble doll is always moving his head. Yeah. You don't want to just uh, fixate on one object. Um, you, while you're out there, you want to pay attention when you're on like uh, city streets. You want to pay attention to stale green lights. Sure. Anybody that don't know what a stale green light, that's a light that's green and you didn't see it turn green. So if you approach an intersection and that light is green and it was green before you got there, you want to anticipate, you know, the light it's changing. Gonna yeah, it's it's going to change, change soon. Yeah. So that's what a stale green light is. Um, and just, you know, be safe out there. Uh, make your mind up and stick to it. Um, <clears throat> when you're going into deliveries, you want to always make sure you think of how you're going to exit before you position yourself. Yeah. You don't never want to get yourself in a situation where you got to back up. Um, 80 feet or something right. like that. So you always want to position yourself in a good um, to where you can leave out uh, without causing any damage anywhere and just basically scan your mirrors. Be alert. Um, I, I drive past truck drivers sometimes and they never look to the left and never see me because I'm always looking at drivers because I am a driver. Just don't be that driver to just fixate on one object. Exactly. So thank you Eddie. That's, that's exactly what I was hoping we could uh, get. One other thing for Quick Hits, uh, the comment period for hours of service changes is opening uh, and it'll be open for 45 days until October 7th and we're actually going to talk about that in a little mm -hmm. bit. So we'll and get into that And also speak to a couple of drivers and yeah. get their opinions. So that'll be really cool. And then <clears throat> uh, final Quick Hits, just want to acknowledge that uh, we participate in the uh, driver championships every, every year and Charles White of Walmart Transportation finished number one and won the National Truck Driving Championship with a final score of 431. So nice. Where's just, he from? Uh, I think it was Florida. Florida, okay. Yep, Florida. Good job, Mr. White. And I'm coming for the title next year. Yeah, which was, was pretty cool. So um, I know, obviously, uh, just I, I have drivers that are always curious. Who won? Right, right. right. You, know, you never know. And that, that's coming from uh, ATA. Oh, nice, nice, nice. That's so, that's pretty cool to have your name on that list. That is pretty cool. We got a few drivers on that list as well. All right. Well, that's it for Quick Hits. Uh, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the anniversary banquet, Eddie. Yes. Uh, we had a great time. The anniversary banquet was Roaring Twenties themed, and we were actually on the committee to help set everything up. Yes. yes. So it was a lot of fun working uh, with the team and yes. creating the theme this year and participating. I thought... You looked stellar. Yeah, you too, sir. Dude, you, you had the, uh, the little the pocket watch. Pocket watch. Yeah, I was in character. I even I even went and got me a, a cigar for the occasion. Yeah. You know, so, you think uh, Roaring Twenties is like great Gatsby theme. Right, That's right. kind of how, how the feel was. And it worked really well. It was really cool. I enjoyed it because so many people participated and dressed up. Now, uh, for next year, you don't have to dress <laughs> up if you want to come out to any event that we have. But it was really cool that we had so many people dress up for the Great Gatsby, well, the Rolling Twenties. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, obviously. Um, you know, there's drinks, dancing, we had a raffle, mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, Dennis gets up and there's the whole ceremony honoring all our anniversary stars. Yes. But really, it's just a lot of fun to get everybody together in a room and yes. see a lot of people who are often out on the road and you see, you know, only every once in a while. So it was just fun to catch up with everybody, um, say hey, and, and... And hit the dance floor. Yeah, and hit the dance floor. <laughs> have some fun. We even had one of those... Uh, you know, relax a Congo, little bit. Is it a Congo line? The conga line. Yeah, we had the conga line going. So that was really fun. And I got video of everything, photos and videos, so... Destroy minds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, was, it was a blast. Yeah, and, we uh, had fun. Yeah, I thought... You know, even our, uh, we had the backdrop with the photo booth and uh -huh. all that. Yeah, it was, it was cool. really, really cool. We always have a good time at those uh, Yeah, last year's was like 80s, and the year before uh -huh. that was at an uh, airplane hangar. And that was uh, Monte Carlo. Yeah. Yep, yep. So, very cool. Um, so, I if also... you didn't make it out this year really quick, if you didn't make it out to the banquet this year, please come next year. Um, I've been here five years, and I think I've been to three banquets. 
my first two years, I was just like you guys out there. I was like, nah, I'm not going to go. But once I went to the first one, I was like, I'm never missing one of these again. Um, so shout out to all of the drivers who showed up. And also, I want to shout out the drivers that wasn't able to show up because they were out on the road delivering loads. So yes. we all have a job here. So a big, big, big thank you to you guys because I know you guys would have loved to be there. And it was fun. Speaking of just uh, kind of celebrating our drivers, Driver Appreciation Week is coming up. Ooh, 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 ooh. So it's going to be uh, September 8th to the 14th, and KKW celebrates in a lot of different ways. Yes. Uh, we have some, you know, swag that we uh, give away to mm-hmm. all of our drivers. I think you can get that in the safety department yes. with Angelina. And then we're doing a, uh, you know, a big barbecue on that Monday. So uh, September 9th, mm-hmm. I believe, is that Monday. And so then- Tech is going to kick it off this year. Usually we have Tech come out and they bring this this grill that's like hooked up to a truck like they cut yeah. a truck in half and turned it into a grill it's really cool they usually come out on fridays but this year we're going to do something different they're going to actually start the they're going appreci- to kick it off yeah. and start monday with a big barbecue for the drivers and then uh every week i mean every day of driver appreciation week uh each department is going to cook for the drivers. Yeah. So Tuesday is our day safety and recruiting. We pair it up together and we will be doing um, cooking. I won't say what I'm cooking because it's not fair to the other teams, um, but we will be cooking on Tuesday. So if you're around next week, our uh, driver appreciation week, please stop by, grab some food and take it out on the road with you. If you have family members that's in the area and you're not able to make it, you can have them come in um, in uh, on your behalf. Yeah, and I know, you know, um, last year, just to give you an example, some of the different days. So when Tech was there, they had uh, like hamburgers and hot dogs. Mm -hmm. We had one day where it was like a barbecue. Then there was one with pizza and Italian. There was one with, I think, Mexican food. So each one kind of has something a little bit different. And if you get a chance to stop in on one or all of the days, mm-hmm. uh, that's fantastic. And, and there's no, there's you know, no limit there on how many days you can show up. Right, you want to come right. every day and come get a every great day. meal. Come every day. Come every day. And also on Friday to end the driver appreciation week, um, we will be giving out some gifts. We have some raffles and some things like that. So Dustin, are you going to do that live again this year? I believe we are. Okay, so so drivers that are not here, please join Dustin on the live on Friday. What date will that will that be? Uh, that would be the thirteenth. The thirteenth. Who is it? Friday the thirteenth. Oh, the lucky is. day. Oh, it is Friday the thirteenth. Friday the thirteenth. Oh, it's happening. lucky day. Yeah. Let's All see right, how that so. goes. Let's see. I'll, I'll probably win a good gift then because that's a lucky day. Yeah. We're right. going to turn it into a lucky day. But I always <laughs> I love Driver Appreciation Week. I wear my you know my KKW gear all week, and uh, it's just fun to see everybody stopping through the office. Yes. Yes, it is. So be sure to meet us here and have some fun. Stop by. If you can't stop by, send your wife, your kids, anyone you want to send up here. Um, you know they're welcome. We are all family. All right, now we're going to kick it over to a topic. We actually uh, pre-recorded this little section. We had uh, some of our drivers kind of come on and give their opinion on this topic, but we're going to talk a little bit about the DOT Hours of Change proposal and uh, what that means and how people can be active in that process. Nice, nice. So let's kick it over to our segment and hear from uh, hear from some of our drivers. Let's do it. So uh, this part of the segment, we just want to speak to a couple of our drivers and see what were their um, thoughts on this new proposal that DOT is proposing um, that will allow us to pause our 14-hour clock, which I think would be great. So what I wanted to do is speak to some of our drivers and what other than what other drivers should I have gotten ex- other than Mr. Lane himself, Lane, Lane. Muzanowski. Did I say it right? No, who does? Who can't say it right? I don't even say it right. Muzanowski, right? Muzanowski. Muzanowski. I'm going to just call you Lane. What is it? Lane 11? Lane 11. Lane 11. He got 11 letters in his name, so we call him Lane 11. Add the X, Y, Z to the end, and you got it all. So, Lane, you you came to mind when I seen you. I was like, you know what? This would be a great person to talk to about this proposal. Um, We want our drivers to get on it. And I was speaking to Miss Lynette Brown about it as well. And she was stating that um, it's going to be 
a website where you guys can comment and, and tell your opinion or, you know, what you think about the change to help them pass it. So once we do receive that link, we will pass it out to all of you guys so you guys can go online and uh, help us help our, ourselves. Right, right. <laughs> so what do you feel about the new proposal change? And just for anybody that don't know about the change already, um, they're, they're posing um, the change that allow us to pause our clock. How do you think that will benefit you being a driver? I think, you know, I just heard about this a day or two ago, and I think it's a, it's a step in the right direction. It's definitely a big positive thing because it lets you address the realities of our industry that can't be covered by a simple, you start and you stop. Right, you know? right. Now you have some flexibility in there. We're going, hey, you know, the warehouse hosed me over. I had to sit there and wait, and I drove 15 minutes to get here, and I've been sitting here five hours to get unloaded, and now I got to sit here for another four, almost five hours to get a 10 in right. over you know a 15 minute drive or something. So um, it, it lets you have some flexibility. Um, like I said, right off the bat, I think it's a great thing, but I also think it you know it's going to take like a year for this to get implemented. There is going to be a questions and answers period. I think a lot of the uh, drivers out there, once they get to re reading this and analyze it, kick it around, absorb it, taste it, kick it back and forth on mm -hmm. the CB with some other guys, somebody's going to have some questions about it that are going to be really deep because right. anything with the government is not that clear cut and simple. Right. right. So. That I'm going to tell the guys, hey, you know, chew this up and, and talk about it amongst yourselves. Come up with the worst case scenario. You know, how's this going to be bad for you? Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, right now, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of bad because anytime they let us stop a clock and, you know, deal with reality of traffic, weather, road closures, mm -hmm. whatever, rock slides, that, that's going to benefit us. You know? yeah, You'd mentioned traffic. Yeah, is traffic is, yeah. The, is the big one. I mean, it's like now you no longer have to be afraid of leaving at five o'clock in the afternoon. Right. You know, yeah, you're right. in traffic, but it's not going to affect your clock. Right. So. And it really sucks when, um, let's say you have a delivery you have to pick up at four o'clock and it's no window. You have to pick it up at four in Southern California. So when you pick that load up, you're in the middle of traffic. So with this new change, you'll be able to pick up that load and then shut down for three hours and pause your clock right. and then pick up and, and take right. off once the traffic clear up. I think that'd be great. And oh, I yeah. think it'd be a safe move as well on the safe. Oh, yeah. I think that's why they're posing this change because I think once we switched over to e-logs, um, the paper logs went out the window. So in the past, the paper log drivers was pausing their clocks when they wasn't supposed to. Right. Um, but it kept them safer on the road because if you were tired, you're able to, it, they wasn't supposed to alter their, their log book. Let me get right. that out there. Right. But they were, but it was allowing them to rest right. and not have to drive and beat that clock. Right. So you're not racing the clock anymore. I think and, that would be. And, and I think the electronic logs have spoken for themselves to the age of the deal. DOT and that tell you know DOT looks at our log books and goes wow look at this these guys are you know they're driving for 15 minutes an hour to and then they got to sit for whatever reasons yeah and they're wasting all this clock there's so much wasted time right. and when there's wasted time who pays the price the shipper no the carrier no the driver we're the ones who aren't making our miles per day to make our ultimate amount of dollars you know right, we have right. 70 hours got to run and yet we're only getting maybe, you know, a fraction of that. It, it, it'd be like if you could do 70 miles an hour for 70 hours, you'd have you know, a lot of miles. Yes. Well, yes. you can't do that right. because of various issues. But now that three hours a day is going to bump up your average, which we all know an average is they look really good when they're maximized and you're getting maximum miles mm -hmm. per hour. Right. But then if you have to stop and the clock keeps ticking – Oh man, it falls off, and next thing you know, your average is just down in the toilet. Right. right so right. this way here, you know, every company should be going to bat for the driver to get as many miles as they can on that seventy-hour clock. Correct. Correct. There you go. Because Correct. that's where you make your money. Correct. And, and so. like the 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 companies, we need to make as much money as we can. Also, yes, and sir. there's nothing worse than to have a morning delivery and an afternoon pickup in two different cities. You're right. like, oh, wow, what, you know. How can I pull this off? Yeah, I yeah. mean, I'm gonna pull it off, but I'm the one that's wasting my clock. I'm not making any money today. Right, you right, know? right. And so uh, this will hopefully, you know, get things going in a way in which the government 
will realize that, hey, you know, our drivers, man, we're not utilizing them as much as we can. Right. Um, and then the companies also, you know, this morning delivery and afternoon pickup, we got we to gotta come to terms with that. We got to fix this. There's this, yeah. you know, shippers have to realize that, hey, yeah, it's not all about us. Every, it's about everybody in the world except for the driver, and the driver's the one who's paying the price. We're the mortar between the bricks. That It's, it's like we're, we're the ones that are getting crapped on. Because well, you just didn't make any money today. Yeah, and that's that's why I was um, excited to bring you in yeah. because Dustin and I went and spoke with Miss Lynette um, about it, and she was like, "Yes, yes, oh, yeah. speak to our drivers about it, and also <laughs> give them the website once we get it, so right. they can go and leave a comment and they right. can help this uh, ruling get passed." Right, right. There will be questions and answers period, and like I said, once some of the guys out there are thinking about it, because when you're driving, you got a lot of time to think. Yes, and sir. They're, and they're going to run these scenarios through their heads. They're going to think about it. They may encounter something where they're going, oh, yeah. if I did or didn't have that three-hour pause right now, that would benefit me or it wouldn't. Mm -hmm. it wouldn't be no, I mean, there's going to be a thousand ways for them to kick this around and figure out, and that's going to be fabulous because it's like, wow. And they're also going to be changing the 8-2 split to a 7-3 seven, three split. 7-3, seven, three, and that'd so, be great. That'd yeah, be great. That, that changes everything that for changes a lot of guys everything. who come up just a little bit short of making it to the delivery. Right, right. You know, when all of a sudden I can make it to the delivery and do a split right there and not have to start the clock. Got a three-hour pause. I can wait. And I can do my... Oh, it's just gonna it's gonna be a good thing I and guess. that's that's why we wanted to speak to our drivers about it right. we didn't want to we all like it we all right. like that'll be good because miss right. lynette sent it out to you know dispatch and right. asking everybody opinion how would they feel about it everybody was thumbs up that would right. really help that help the drivers the drivers would make more money yeah. um so when we were telling her that we wanted to speak to some drivers she was like that'll be great and yeah. we can't we can always, we try to get away from saying what we like for the drivers and like to speak to the drivers for and themselves. see what they like. Because right. when I was out there on the road, I know I came in the office with a thousand ideas. That's just like you're saying, once the drivers get this ruling, they're going to have time to kick it around right. and see what's the pros and cons of it. Right. But I really don't see any, any cons. It's going to be hard to find cons in this when they're giving you three free hours to, to basically do what you need to do in reality and I say reality because like I said earlier there's there's things that come up in this business that are not addressed on paper right and why should why should the driver pay the price and get hosed out of you know three hours of work and mileage which could be 150 miles in mm -hmm. three hours right. or a little more right. because of a rock slider, because of a traffic jam, a fender bender in front of you. Yeah. That's got the road. And to all story. of our drivers, um, if you would like to get an article on this proposal, you can stop by and see myself or Dustin. We can print it out for you guys and you guys can read over it yourself. Like Lane said, this change won't take place until about another year or so, yeah, no. but we do got to, you know, do our part and make sure that we can get this passed. Because yeah. uh, if it's a proposal, I mean, if we're almost there. Oh, we just got to yeah, get it passed. Huge. It's huge in that the DOT has actually officially acknowledged that, hey, here's a step in this direction we want to do. And everybody's like, oh, my goodness, what a great idea. You know, <laughs> right. wow. um, a lot of drivers don't understand it. I thought they should have been made it to where you can pause your clock. When you go off duty... Um, you're off duty. That shouldn't right. count out of your clock. So I, right. I, I really love this proposal. I would really like to see it roll yeah. out. Um, I'm pretty sure you're going to have to shut down for three hours. You're not going to be able to pause it for two. And we'll see. That a good and question. Yeah. Can, some... can we do it start, stop, start, stop? Or is it just going to be, no, once you start, it's three hours. You would have to physically go get in a truck. I don't think they should let anybody make these rules that haven't gotten a truck and right. spent the night in a truck and lived in a truck. Right. The other thing, like you know, like you said, there's people against it, but they're not in the truck. But there's going to be people who, gosh, how do I put put this to be politically correct? Shady truck drivers, you know, who are going to try to manipulate this, the start and stop in that three hours, right? So right. that they actually end up driving seventeen hours. Yeah, you right. Know, they're going to try to figure out a way. How do I sneak snake around mm -hmm. through this? You're and, always going to have those. Yeah, you're going to have that, and that's going to be up to these guys to go. Hey, what if I do this, or what if this happens, or that happens? Well, then DOTs can say, "Whoa, we need to reevaluate that, this, and the other thing." And, mm -hmm. and um, but I think you know, if you're going to be a shady truck driver, you're going to try to manipulate to get more than than that. Maybe trucking's not for you. Oh, yeah, they're pushing their cell files. As soon as the e-logs came, things yeah. changed, and now yeah. we're getting ready to go from the AOBRD to the ELD, right. and the ELD is a little stricter because it's right. reading from the motor of the truck. Oh, wow. See, so, 
I don't know. It's weird though really because tough. whenever you, to me, I look at like whenever there's an opportunity, you know, for an improvement in efficiency, and you're adding in technology, there should that should equal opportunity. Oh yeah, most you definitely. can make up that gap wherever it's at. You should right. be able to say like, hey, without us now having to run this extra time, we can we can find it. It's right. there. Right. It's in there. Right. And like we said earlier, you know, if there's a, a stop of uh, a rock slide or a traffic jam or something, let's say it only takes an hour. Well, why should you have to start the whole three-hour clock? Why do you lose that for an hour? Yeah, right. You know? So right. they should let you start and stop, start and stop, and have a comment in there, rock slide, you know, traffic accident, whatever. Right. You know? um, and then what about if a driver gets sick? How many of us have driven when you've got gastrointestinal problems or something? You go, hey, there's a rest. i got to hit that, you know. <laughs> Welcome um, to life. <laughs> right? It's one of those things that's kind of like, uh, yeah, I got to stop and to take care of some personal business. Well, then I'm back to work. I go, oh, man, I, I got to stop again, you know? And it, well, you stopped a half hour ago. Hey, nature calls, you know, yeah. for whatever reason. Yeah. So they need to, the flexibility is going to be huge because I know for me personally, without that stoppage, there's times where I'm going to fall short of getting home by, you know, half an hour. Mm-hmm. But now the next day, I got to start my clock to drive that half an hour to get home. Yeah, right. And right. then I'm I'm gonna I got three hours of off duty time there, but my clock's still ticking. So in three hours, I better have my business taken care of at home. Right. And I gotta start driving again. Mm-hmm. And so you're like on the clock technically. It, exactly. The clock is still ticking. Yeah. When you're off duty, so um, it it'll be a it'll be a benefit. You know, it like I said, it's just gonna be sad if there's gonna be guys out there trying to figure out how to. Yeah, to manipulate it on the shady side. So, but all in all, I I think it's a positive, good thing that we're heading in the right direction. You know, because DOT is realizing that hey, yeah, these guys aren't machines, right. they're running machine, but they still got lives, they still mm-hmm. got things to take care of and things to do. So, mm-hmm. what do you and think? a robot is a long ways away of driving oh, yeah. a truck. That robot ain't never coming. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll I tell you been, what. That robot might be able to do it in Sweden or whatever, but he ain't going to do it downtown L.A., trust me. I'll be sure to uh, share the link. Uh, yes. We'll get it out there on social media and email, so be sure, you know, all of our drivers to check your inbox. That will be in there. And, of course, we want to extend another big thank you to Lane for yes. coming on the show again. I appreciate, I appreciate you, sir. it. I like doing this. This is a lot of fun. How many times have you been on? Oh, it's, it's been like 57. <laughs> <laughs> I, gonna, I lost count. We're right just going to change the name. It should <laughs> be myself, Lane's Podcast. My own, my own podcast. That's there you right. go. Lane there you go. Podcast. There you go. Just change my name and everything. But it's a lot of fun. So <laughs> don't well, we forget to get your pictures you. in for the calendar contest. Yeah. Who, who they're competing yeah. against. I don't know. <laughs> I only got like one or two pictures. No, he does. Right? He's got like twenty seven. It sounds like a photographer <laughs> to say something like that. Are you already submitting your pictures? Oh heck yeah. Every day. Oh, if I get one, I, I tend it in. That's right. Oh, I so, always yeah. love getting here. Usually it's in the morning. Uh-huh. You send them before I come in and I'm yeah. like, you Oh are, nice. You are a great photographer. Well, thank sir. you, sir. I appreciate it. You're really, that. really good. You want to buy a picture? I'll sell oh. you some. I got some deals. Is it some of the ones that I got for free already? Oh, sure. I'll sell you some of those, too, for a price of one. <laughs> if I want for the price of two, how's that? <laughs> so he's a hustler, too. <laughs> All right, Lay, we really thank you for coming yeah, on again. Thank you, and my pleasure. Hopefully you continue to drive safe out there. Oh, you and bet. You are one of our safest drivers. We got a lot of them on board, but you are yeah. one of them, and it's uh, highly appreciated to have you on the team. Thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, Lane. Yes, You're sir. welcome. Well, that was a great discussion and yes. of course if you want to leave us any feedback about the dot hours of service change proposal you can uh reach out to us on social media or contact eddie and i directly correct um and like i said we would love to hear from everybody uh because we are advocating for the drivers here most definitely and we want to know what you guys think this is yes. a big deal and everybody's thumbs up on this new change dispatch everybody will love it yeah so, hey, before uh, we head out on this episode, Eddie, I want to toss it over to you. I yes. know you wanted to talk a little bit about a uh, new pay structure. Yes, um, I went to go over the new pay structure uh, with you guys. I'm not going to go in depth about it, but I'm going to kind of give you guys scratch the surface. If you would like to hear more, please come and see uh, Miss Linda James in the payroll department or Miss Susie Dansell to explain it to you guys a little better. It's actually a plus, the new pay system. Um, so if you got your check stub and you didn't know how to read it or if you had any questions, please don't be alarmed. Please don't be that driver to say, you know what, I feel like I'm being cheated out. Please come in and speak to uh, someone in the payroll department and give us the opportunity to explain it to you. 
Um, you can even come see myself. I think I have a great PowerPoint where I can't explain it, but I would say first go to payroll because that's their department and I'm pretty sure they can explain it to you better than I can. Um, but the new pay system is a plus. Um, so again, if you have any questions, any concerns about the new pay system, please come in and speak with the payroll department. And thank you all. All right. Well, that does it for our uh, podcast this week, Eddie. It was another good episode. Yes. And one of the things, you know, I think going forward, we, we definitely want to highlight some of uh, what's going on in the trucking industry. Mm -hmm. We want to have those conversations with our drivers and uh, really hear from you guys. Yeah. And then another thing for the drivers out there, um, some things that you would like for us to speak about on the podcast or even speak to other drivers on our podcast, please, uh, reach out to us and say, hey, this would be a great topic for you guys to cover on the podcast because no one knows what a truck driver wants to hear yeah. um, but other than a truck driver. So you guys that's out there driving for us, um, out there on the road, if you have some great topics you'll like to talk about, uh, please reach out to Dustin and we'll see if we can get those topics on our next uh, podcast. Yeah, and we, we would love, you know, if anybody uh, is open to coming on the podcast, we would love to have you on as a Always. guest. And even if you have a topic that maybe... Uh, you know, we didn't uh, lock up any drivers to come on the show. We may go find a guest, you know, if uh, we can interview someone from DOT. Mm -hmm. If we can, you know, interview someone from Highway Patrol. Whatever we, we can to right. uh, make sure we're, we're really exploring the topics and getting the different perspectives. But more than anything, we always want to hear from the drivers. From the drivers. Even if it's a, a game or, you know, something that you guys feel creative that's just not, you know only about trucking still reach out to us we want to make this fun we want to make everybody we want to make these podcasts very popular so you guys help us make the podcast popular by giving us some ideas all right well that does it it's been another episode of the kkw trucking podcast yes. we want to thank everybody that tuned in to listen and as always we want to end the show just thanking our drivers Thank you, thank you, thank you. And before I let you all go, our um, drivers that has been on board with us, they know how much they're appreciated here at KKW. But for our new drivers that just joined the team, I want to give you guys a thank you, a thank you, thank you. Drive safe out there. And again, thank you for starting a career with KKW Trucking. All right, we'll be back with another episode. That's it. That's it. Have a good one. Drive safe.